What's up you guys? I am back with a new video this week and we on True Collab we are talking about Brand Week. And I'm here with the one, the only, Diana Bosina. Hi! Again, because we spend every single day together. Mm -hmm. We're that close. Seriously, that close. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are in our onesies. I am Minnie Mouse. And I'm Mickey Mouse. And together, we are Minnie and Mickey. So this week I'm, we're talking about Rant Week and why not talk about school? Something we all hate. Well, well me and Diana hate the most. But I came up with a list and hopefully I'm just gonna go with this on the rotation. But the first thing we both hate is getting up early in the morning. I get up at 6.45 because I don't have to take a bus because I'm close to the school. But Nikki, on the other hand, she needs to take a bus so she needs to wake up a little bit earlier than me. Because yeah. I am a little bit farther than her from the school, so I have to take a bus. So I get up around like 6.30 and then leave my house at like 7.05 to get the bus. Anyway, we get up early at the crack of dawn, then we go to school, and it's early in the morning and nobody is really awake, except for those people who are gum scavengers, I like to call them. Let me admit, I'm one of those gum scavengers. Like, as soon as someone pulls out a gum pack, I'm like, yo, let me get one of those. She's like flaunting around, like, why are you flaunting it around? Uh, if you're flaunting it around, why can't I have one? Like, so... legit, if you open a pack of gum, you're gonna, it's like... The seagulls just like the come. seagulls just attack you. <laughs> so you go to your first classroom and nobody is awake in first period class. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not even awake during first period class. I'm like, kind of awake. I'm like not even paying attention. I have math first period. I used to have math last year and I have IB Spanish, which is a college level, uh, it's like two year course thing. If you guys don't know what IB so I'm mad first place and nobody's away. So our teacher, that I don't like what he does, but he likes to call on us randomly. And some of us might be awake, some of us might be. And he'll be like, Nicolette, why I'm like this. And he goes, Nicolette. And he'll like call me and he goes, do you know the answer to this question? How am I supposed to know the answer to the question if we didn't even learn about this topic yet? That's me in chem. That's me in history. And sometimes in trick. Oh my god, the things I hate now in geometry are the freaking what are those called? Proofs. The proofs. Who the hell is gonna wanna know how to do a proof? Like if I'm working at like a nail salon place, oh, I was just there. But if I was working at a nail salon place, a lady's not gonna come up to me and get her nails done and goes, oh, do you know how to do a triangle proof? I'll be like, yeah, I know how to show you. Like, no, what what the when are we ever gonna use a proof? Those other kids I hate are the teacher's pets. Oh my god. The kids who are always, always, always raising their hands to know the answer. That's me. Sometimes the teacher gets tired of them and they will be like, anybody else? Anybody else besides John over here? That's what I get in med class. They're like, anyone else besides Diana that knows the question? I mean, like, I, I know my shit, but. Like, we, we know the answer, but we just don't want to answer. And then they'll just answer the person who the teacher said. And. Teachers also have another thing with our phones. If our phones are out, like either on our desk or in our hand and we're like putting them away, they'll think we were on it and they will take Or it cheating away. during a test, that's one big thing. Every time like if you take out like your phone from your pocket, they think that you're cheating. Obviously not, we're cheating, unless you're really dumb and you don't know anything, but like that's besides the point. Like, I take it out just to check the time because sometimes I can't see the clock. Like I wear contacts. Obviously, because I did videos in my glasses before, but if I can't see the clock, like I'll use the most closest thing. But as a junior, because Nikki's a sophomore, I keep my phone out every period on my desk. I'll just flip it over in classes that they won't allow me to do it I'll in. Do that too. But my my trick teacher, it's it's called a drop, and if we text during class and he sees us. Every quarter, he drops our lowest test grade, and if he sees the phone, he takes that away. So then, if you get like a 90, 89, 70, and a 40, at the end of the at the end of the quarter, you get the 40 taken away. But if he sees you texting, he's gonna include the 40, which is gonna like drop your whole average. My uh, bio teacher, I'm not gonna name names here, but my bio teacher, I had my phone actually in my pocket, and we were horse, we were we were all talking in our little. Um, desk areas and we were all talking and I went to go like try to fix myself from the seat and my phone slipped out of my pocket. She heard it and her neck turned snap 90 degrees was like 
Nicola, go put that phone in the tank. If she has a tank and it's like this little thing and she says, oh, she's the Mrs. Boss fishy. And if she sees us little guppies texting, she'll get the phone <laughs> and put it in her tank. I'm so like legit right now. And the last thing is homework testing quizzes. The teachers will always complain that, oh my god, I have so much stuff to grade. I have so many quizzes to grade. I have so much homework to look then at. don't give us homework if you have so much work. I mean, you must suffer from carpool tunnel. If you ask the teacher what her favorite words are, it's this. The bell does not dismiss you, I do. And what the hell is that bell for? It's like, bitch, let me leave. Obviously, the, what they put the bell there for, we can't leave class. A teacher held me back because we packed up a little, a one minute early before the bell was gonna ring, actually like one second. And she says, no, you guys are gonna stay here for two minutes, two extra minutes. I'm like a normal student. I get A's there, B's there, C's there, sometimes B's. But really. But I at least know I tried. Me and Diana tried. But how are we supposed to know that? answer to the question that doesn't make sense. It's like if John had one, two, three pencils and he gave Diana an apple, calculate the distance from here to the moon. Half my teachers actually failed or got a low grade on the class they're teaching now. Like my, my geometry teacher from last year, she failed her geometry regions. So all you <laughs> teachers out there, stop complaining and stop giving us so much homework and testing quizzes. That is the end of this week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed about our rant about school. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and comment down below if you have trouble with your teachers and that stuff. Um, I'm posting my video tomorrow about my views. It's mostly bullying, teen pregnancy, and much, else. much more. You gotta stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. We'll find out. Anyway, while you're at it, click subscribe to help our channel get a little bit more subscribers. Uh, our goal is to maybe have. A thousand by the summer, but maybe a hundred thousand by the end of this year. So 2016, you better make it happen, and 2015, you better make it happen also, so we can get. We please, we please yeah. you. I mean, so we can get a hundred thousand. Share with your friends. Share with your family. Yeah, it's about school. Actually, I dated to post this on some social media, and if your teacher sees, then who? Maybe show your teacher this. Mm. So I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Bye. See ya.